Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. And if you are a fan of found footage films like I am, you know, some are obviously better than others, but this film in particular is one that needs to be checked out if you are a fan of found footage films. I was watching a documentary about a week or so ago about found footage genre, and this film popped up and I had never heard of it before, so I had to go on Amazon right away and pick it up, and that is Apartment 143, Amergo. Now this film was actually made prior to Paranormal Activity coming out, but trying to find a distributor to put this film out, Paranormal Activity came out first. So a lot of people consider this kind of like a ripoff, but no, this film was actually made before Paranormal Activity. And I enjoyed this film so, so much. It's only 80 minutes long, so it's not a long film at all. And the story, basically, you follow this group of paranormal researchers, going these three, these three people, going into this apartment where this is father, this widowed father, along with his young son and teenage daughter. And this is basically a lot of what's going on between the father and the daughter. The daughter resents, she's very resentful towards her father, feeling that he caused the death of his wife. There's things that come out later in the film. Again, I'm not going to spoil it because this one needs to be checked out. If, you, if you're a horror fan, if you're a fan of just found footage in general, this one needs to be checked out. There are things that go on. There's some, you know, there's a little bit of that ghost aspect to this film, but there are so many more layers to it throughout. I really enjoyed this one the entire time. I was engaged, didn't take my eyes off the TV. I really enjoyed it. It is shot well. It is acted well. Every shot that is shown with a camera, it makes sense. Sometimes with a found footage film, you're like, well, why don't they just drop the freaking camera and run? But this, old, but this film has a point to every single time you see a camera in somebody's hand or, you know, because they go into this apartment and they're smart. The director was smart because he, put, he had them put cameras in every aspect of the apartment. So everything makes sense when you're getting that shot. Perfectly well done. I watched the making of it as well, and I really enjoyed what he was going for, having, you know, having to make sure that his actors and actresses held cameras all the time to get every possible shot and having a reason for it. Enjoyed it. But like I said, there's a lot more to it. And this, there are some really, really horrifying scenes in this. For found footage, I would probably put this, for me, at least, me personally, I would put this over paranormal activity. I, I would. I think this is a better, scarier film in general, in my opinion. I really enjoyed it. And I think that, you know, everything's acted pretty darn well. And definitely the conflict between the father and the daughter, it, the tension, you can cut it with a knife. It is that well. Now, well done. Absolutely can't say enough about this one. I really enjoyed it a lot. Apartment 143, Amergo. I'm going to give this one a 7.5 out of 10. Definitely worth checking out if you're a fan of horror or, again, found footage genre. Definitely go check this one out. I picked that for like 15 bucks on Amazon. Definitely worth the price. So, like, subscribe, and comment if you get the chance, and I will catch you in another episode. Take care.